Did you ever pause for a moment and wonder how your loyal dog truly sees the world around you? For years, many of us believed our furry companions live in a dull black and white movie, but science has proven otherwise. In fact, what they see might surprise you more than you think. While we wake up every day relying on our eyes to guide us, our dogs live in a different reality, one where smell, sound, and a unique sense of sight come together in ways we can barely imagine. But what happens when age creeps in and that loyal friend starts losing their eyesight? Should we worry? Or could it be that our dogs have always known how to see the world better than we do, just not with their eyes alone? In today's journey, we'll peel back the curtain on how dogs see colors, shapes, shadows, and the people they love most. And by the end, you might just see your dog and your bond with them in a whole new light. So, how does this incredible mix of senses really work? Let's start with the strongest one, the nose. Before we talk more about what your dog actually sees, we need to understand what truly shapes their world. Imagine for a moment waking up tomorrow with your sense of smell turned up a thousand times stronger than it is now. That's everyday life for your dog. Their nose isn't just powerful, it's their main window into the world. Scientists say a dog can sniff out a single teaspoon of sugar dissolved in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. That's not a myth. It's the truth that explains why your dog can pick up the scent of your neighbor's cooking before you've even turned off your TV. Right behind their nose is their incredible sense of hearing. While we think we hear everything happening in our homes, our dogs catch sounds we could never dream of. A tiny mouse rustling in the grass. The quiet click of your fridge door opening from two floors away. Your dog knows long before you do. Even when their eyes grow old and cloudy, their nose and ears stay sharp, giving them a full map of what's happening around them. So, where does vision fit in? Well, while it's important, it's only a piece of the puzzle. Dogs rely on sight for shapes, motion, and some color. But their view of the world is a blend of smell, sound, and instinct working together like a perfect team. So, if their nose leads the way, what exactly do their eyes add to the picture? Let's take a closer look at what colors your dog can really see and which ones they can't. Now that we know vision is just one piece of your dog's amazing toolkit, Let's break down what those eyes really see when they look at you, your backyard, or that bright red ball you keep throwing. You might be surprised to learn that your dog's eyes are built differently from yours. Deep inside every eye are tiny cells called cones and rods. Humans have three types of cone cells, which let us see a rainbow of colors. Reds, blues, and greens mixing together in countless ways. That's why a garden looks so alive to us, filled with deep red roses, fresh green grass, and clear blue skies. Dogs, on the other hand, have just two types of cones. For them, the world is painted mostly in shades of blue and yellow, reds and greens. Those fade into dull browns and grays. So. That bright red ball you toss across the yard probably doesn't look red to your dog at all. Instead, it blends in with the grass, unless it moves. Movement brings it to life. Some owners swear their dogs pick out red or purple toys every time. But here's the thing. Dogs choose with more than their eyes. They use their nose, the feel of the toy, maybe even the sound it makes when you squeeze it. And when they chase that ball across the lawn, they're chasing the motion, not the color. So next time you buy a new toy, remember, for your dog, blue and yellow pop the most. A bright blue frisbee in the park or a yellow squeaky ball in the backyard will stand out far better than a red one lost in green grass. 
Choosing the right colors makes playtime clearer and more exciting for them. And that means more fun for you, too. But colors aren't the only trick their eyes have up their furry sleeves. Let's find out how your dog uses shades and shadows to track things we might never notice. So if your dog can't see the full rainbow like we do, how do they still spot things so well, even in dim light? Here's where another hidden strength comes in. Dogs have far more rod cells in their eyes than we do. These rod cells help them pick up the slightest changes in shades of gray, even when the light is low. Think of it like having built-in night goggles that highlight shadows and subtle shapes. Researchers have tested this in clever ways. In one study, dogs looked at screens that showed images fading from light gray to dark gray. Even when the difference was tiny, the dogs could spot which one was different, sometimes better than we could ourselves. This superpower helps them pick you out on a foggy evening walk or notice a squirrel slipping through the bushes at dusk. You can even turn this to your advantage. Next time you play hide-and-seek with your dog indoors, try hiding near a gray couch or patterned rug. It gives them a little extra challenge because their eyes love picking out those tiny shifts in shade. And when the sun goes down, this hidden grayscale vision works hand-in-hand hand with another gift, the power to see when we can't. Let's look at how your dog turns nighttime into daylight. Have you ever wondered why your dog seems perfectly at ease during an early morning walk or a stroll at dusk, even when you're squinting to see what's ahead? Dogs have a secret built right into their eyes, a special layer called the tapetum lucidum. This thin, shiny mirror behind the retina reflects any light that comes in bouncing it back through the eye a second time. That double pass gives dogs a real advantage in low light. It's the same reason their eyes glow when you snap a photo at night or catch them with a flashlight under the table. But while dogs are built to thrive in moonlight or street light, some modern lights can be a different story. Studies show that dogs can pick up flickers in certain LED bulbs that our eyes miss completely. To us, the light looks steady, but to them, it can flicker like an old TV screen. So if you notice your dog avoiding a room or acting uneasy under bright LED lamps, it might not be the noise or the smell. It could be the light itself. Choosing softer, constant lighting helps your dog feel more at ease, especially at night. So, while they see well in the dark, how sharp is their vision really? Next. Let's find out what the world looks like through your dog's eyes in broad daylight. When it comes to sharpness and detail, your dog's eyes work differently from yours. If you stand 50 feet away and wave, you'll see each wrinkle on your friend's face. But for your dog, that same face might look blurry until you get much closer. On average, a dog's visual acuity is about 20% of ours. So what we see clearly from 20 feet away, a dog might need to be just 4 or 5 feet away to see with the same crispness. But don't feel bad for your pup. This slight blur has a purpose. Instead of focusing on fine detail, a dog's eyes are wired to detect motion, and they're really good at it. A squirrel darting across the yard, a rabbit hiding in tall grass, or even the flick of your hand tossing a ball, all pop out clearly to your dog long before you even notice. Some breeds are even better built for this. Dogs with longer snouts, like greyhounds or collies, have a special strip in their eyes called a lateral fovea. While we have a tiny circle for sharp focus straight ahead, these dogs have a wider horizontal band that helps them track movement across a wide field perfect for spotting prey or rounding up sheep. So, while their world may be a little softer in focus, it's alive with motion. That's why toys that bounce, roll, or wiggle are so irresistible to them. But not every dog sees the same way. Let's look closer at how vision changes from breed to breed and what happens when age catches up with those loyal eyes.
Not every dog's eyes are built the same way. Over generations, different breeds have developed their own special ways of seeing the world, shaped by the jobs they were bred to do. Take the Greyhound, for example. These elegant sprinters have long snouts and that special horizontal fovea band that lets them scan the horizon for anything that moves, even far in the distance. Sight hounds like them were born to chase. Then there are herding dogs, like border collies, that rely on sharp eyes to track livestock. They're masters at spotting quick shifts and subtle movements. On the other hand, dogs with flatter faces, like pugs or bulldogs, often have a wider field of view up close, but might struggle more with distance. That doesn't mean they see poorly. It just means their vision is perfect for the cozy spaces they live in. But no matter the breed, time catches up with every set of eyes. Just like us, dogs can develop cataracts as they age. In fact, studies show that nearly half of all dogs over 10 will have some degree of cloudy vision. If your old friend seems hesitant on stairs, bumps into furniture, or stops playing catch, cloudy eyes might be the reason. So, what can you do? Keep play areas well lit and free of obstacles. Switch to bigger, brighter toys that are easy to see up close. Many owners find that a light-up collar or reflective leash helps a senior dog feel safer during evening walks. And don't forget regular checkups. Your vet can catch vision problems early and help you make simple changes that keep your dog comfortable and confident. So, whether they're young or growing old, dogs find amazing ways to keep up with us. But for some, seeing is just part of the story. Next, let's discover how some dogs lead the way, even when they can't see every detail themselves. If you've ever watched a guide dog at work, you know just how remarkable these animals are. They lead their humans safely through busy streets, crowded sidewalks, and unexpected obstacles, often in places where even we would hesitate. But here's what surprises many people. A guide dog doesn't actually read traffic lights or signs the way we do. Instead, they rely on a powerful blend of senses and training. When a guide dog steps off the curb, they're listening for cars, feeling vibrations through their paws, sniffing the air for clues, and staying tuned in to their handler's voice and signals. It's a quiet teamwork built on trust and communication. The dog senses danger and hesitation, and the person relies on that sixth sense to stay safe. Vision plays a part, but it's the nose, ears, and heart that do the heavy lifting. For many blind and visually impaired people, this living partnership is life-changing. It's a reminder for all of us that a dog's world is never just about sight. It's about the invisible connections they feel with us every single day. So, after seeing the world through their eyes, what can you do to thank them? Let's wrap up with one final thought. So now you know, your dog's eyes may not see the same colors and details that yours do, but their world is far from dull. They fill every corner of it with scents, sounds, and the warmth of the people they trust most. Maybe that's why they always find their way back to you, no matter how blurry the road looks ahead. If you want to give back just a little of that love, Remember the small things that matter. Pick the right toy colors. Keep their play space safe and bright. Help your older buddy feel confident when the world gets a bit fuzzy. And if you'd like to discover even more ways to understand at your dog's secret world, check out our next video about the surprising things we humans do that dogs secretly hate. Hit that subscribe button and stay with our dog-loving family. We're here to help you see the world through your best friend's eyes, one tail wag at a time.